Hey soulmates, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilo and you're watching Nilo Stitches. Today tutorial we're making a pencil skirt with a front slit. I'll be showing you how to cut and also how to sew this and how you can also achieve an inseam finish, a neat finish for your skirt. So this is the inside of the skirt. As you can see here is the slit area and the other side here is the zipper side okay here is the zipper side okay so if this is what you're interested in please keep watching like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new okay so first of all my fabric is on fold and here i folded in two inches like so i ironed two inches on fold here okay so let me measure it for you guys to see this is two inches i folded two inches and to know how much fabric you fold is your hip plus extra three inches okay your hip divided by four plus extra three inches that is how i folded this plus the two inches that we fold that's your hip divided by four plus extra five inches right okay hope this is clear so here i'm going to start taking the hip line which is nine inches i'm using hip nine inches for my hip line okay and for the knee line i'll be working with 19 inches because i'm on the tall size okay side so you can use 18 19 to 20 depending on your height so i'm using 19 for myself and here i'm going to mark my waist divided by four my waist is 36 divided by four is nine plus here is nine plus one inch for that and also two inches for sewing allowance so you can add more if you want so but for me i use two inches so here on the hip line i'm going to mark first of all i'm going to mark my dart okay just for a guide four inches four inches that's nipple to nipple divided by two four inches and the next i'm going to mark my hip divided by four plus my sewing allowance <coughs> excuse me so here is my hip line my hip divided by 4 11 plus 2 inches for sewing allowance and on the knee line i'll measure what i have on the hip and i'll minus because i want it to be really pencil i'll be taking out 2 inches or you can take out 2.5 if you want it really really penciled but i'll be taking out 2 inches from my so I will mark what I have here so the same thing I marked there I'm going to mark at the hem of the skirt so I'm using the full length of this anchor which is by 45 my full length is 43 so the 45 2 inches is for turning folding allowance okay so I'm using the full length of the anchor so I'm going to connect from the uh, hem up to the knee line and from the knee line i'm going to connect to the hip line like this okay and from the hip line i'll connect up to the waistline so like i said after marking your hip and your allowance you measure what you have like my hip is 11 allowance two inches that's 13. so when i minus the two inches from the 13 i'll still have 11 so i mark the 11 on the knee line and also the hem line so now i'll be cutting this out So this is what we have so next i'm going to fold another fabric into two so that we can cut the back panel so this is it this fabric is on fold it's two pieces here and i just marked 1.5 inch zipper allowance that will not be my zipper allowance i'm going to change it later so i mark my knee and my hip line which is nine inches and my knee line which is 19 and the full length also okay so now i'm going to start taking my measurement just like we did but before then i'm going to mark 0 0.25 on the waistline like so and then you connect it to the hip line okay this is for your skirt to fit or to lap very well at the back without um bulging okay without your zip bulging out <coughs> excuse me so now i'm going to take my hip divide by four plus sewing allowance of two inches and on the waistline i'm going to take starting from this line i mark inward here i'm going to take my waist divide by four 
plus zipper i mean um that allowance one inch and then two inches for sewing allowance okay so the same thing whatever you have on your hip remember i minus um i'm going to connect from the waist to the hip line like this and the same thing we did to the front remember i minus two inches from the hip line so i'm going to measure what i have on the hip line and i'll be minusing two inches but that two inches i'll be splitting it into two okay so you can mark exactly hip line on your knee line or you do the way i'm doing so i'm going to mark one inch here and one inch at the hemline also like this okay so i'm marking one inch from the zipper allowance line and i'm going to connect that to the hip line like so this is to um give it that butt effect okay to give it that butt effect on at the back of your skirt so i'm going to connect this to the hip line like so okay so now i'm going to measure what i have on the hip line again and i'll minus two inches from it so this is it 13. i'm going to minus two inches from this 13 and i'll be marking 11. okay this is because i've already marked out one inch from this line already so i'll start marking 12 inches from here okay you can mark the 12 inches and then you take out one inch from the other side or because we've already marked one inch on this side you start marking your exact 11 from that line from the one inch line we marked you start marking your 11. mark one one inch from your zipper allowance and connect to the hip line and then you measure what you have on the hip line you minus two inches from it and start taking the measurement from that one inch you mark this will make it correspond with the front panel i hope this is clear enough if you don't understand you can ask me on the comment section okay or you can watch the video over and over again so that you will get it so here i'm going to mark my dad starting from that line and that length i'm working with is five inches okay so because of this i'm going to measure from here to here this is five and i'm going to mark the same thing here just to get a straight line okay for my dart and then you mark half half inch on both sides of the dart line and you connect to the dart leg like this okay <coughs> excuse me so here I'm, I'm i'm now marking my 1.5 inch zipper allowance following the shape of this back panel okay just look at what i'm doing i'm marking my 1.5 inch zipper allowance following the exact shape of this um mark okay i'm marking my 1.5 inch zipper allowance and i'll take that down to the hem Okay, so now I'm going to connect it together and then we'll cut this out. I hope this video is understandable. So this is my zipper allowance. As you can see the shape, okay, it's following the curve, curvy shape of that back, okay so now i'm going to cut this out so you notch the zipper allowance like so you also notch at the hem you also notch your dart Okay, so I'm going to notch the dart here. So this is the side back. I'm cutting the side back now. <coughs> Excuse me. 
so here i've already gone my skirt i've gone my uh, fabric together and i cut the lining exactly so guys sorry about the the color is cloudy it's about to rain so what i did here was to mark my dart allowance which is four inches and i'm going to notch that point right now I cut my lining exactly as this, exactly as the skirt. That is how I cut my lining. And I gum my Ankara pieces. So you can decide to gum, you can decide not to gum. So I gum the Ankara pieces and I notched my dart area now. <coughs> Remember, we've marked the dart before, but I remarked it because I gummed it and it's not showing anymore. So what I'm going to do now is, this is the lining. The lining is two inches shorter than the length of the Ankara remember I said I added two inches for my folding allowance okay so this is it so here is the lining I'm going to open it up like so and then I'll place the Ankara pieces on top of it make sure that the two that area is the same so this is where we fold it as you can see this mark here, this middle is where we fold it. Okay, so from this, that line that I marked, I'm going to mark two inches like this. That's to take out the two inches allowance we added. So from this, that line here, I marked that, that point that I notched, that, that area, I marked two inches inward. I'm going to connect that down straight. Okay, so guys, sorry, my line is not... My chalk is not truly showing very well and the weather also and there's no light for me to use ring light i'm so sorry so here i'm going to notch that point also so next i'm going to open this up so i'll open it up like so including the lining and the african print so now we are going to start sewing so what i'm going to do first of all is to sew the hem Use the lining to turn the hem of the skirt, okay? Use the lining to turn the hem first of all before you sew this um, slit area. Okay, so this is the hem here. You match the Ankara and the lining together and then you sew the hem. Okay, you sew the hem and then you pull it up and then you sew the slit area okay after sewing it is going to look like this like so then you pull it up like this it will look like this and then you sew it up to the waistline you do the same to the other panel to the other pieces of the front okay so we, where we are sewing now is the slit area not the side okay so here guys i'm done doing that and this is what we have i also sew the waistline also okay so this is it after sewing here, I pull it up and I sew. So you place the lining and the skirt right side facing the right side of each other. Okay, so you pull it up after sewing the side, you pull it up like so and you sew up to the waistline and you also close the waistline. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I left a little bit of allowance here at the side of the hem so that we can be able to join the back and the front together so here i also join close up the waist so remember that where we slit open this front panel is on the smaller part okay so on the smaller part you don't need to put your dart but on this bigger panel here you sew your dart okay so here it is i saw my dart that is why you need to notch when you're cutting that part when you measure your dart during cutting you notch so that you know where to sew your dart so i'm going to turn this out and you sew it exactly the same way we sew the other panel the smaller front panel so here is the back panel i sew the dart and the lining dart also i close up the zipper allowance <coughs> after sewing the hem I close up the zipper allowance and also the waistline the side is still open okay the side is open the side is not closed yet I'll be joining the side of the back and the side of the front together so here is the back panel I'm done ironing it turning and ironing it out so what I'm going to do is to close up using the 1.5 inch allowance I added 
<coughs> sorry guys i have kata you sew from the 1.5 you measure at the 1.5 inch and sew and stop somewhere here you measure seven inches down that is normal zipper um length zip length you measure seven inches down and then you sew in your zipper you leave seven inches down for your zipper okay so for the front panel you're going to place them right side facing each other like this so you measure out you should know the how open or the length of your slit the length you want for your slit if you want it to start from your knee line you measure from your waist down to your knee line or you can just take it up from the hem up to where you want it to to end so for me i think i'll be taking 20 inches from the hem <coughs> excuse me i'm marking 20 inches from the hem but you can measure from here down maybe like 18 inches which is your knee length so i'm gonna sew up to this point and i'll stop okay from the waist and i'll stop at that point that i mark from here i'll sew using the two inches allowance or 1.5 because we're using half half inch to turn the side of the front so you use 1.5 and sew down so here is the front panel i'm done sewing it from the waistline down to this point as you can see okay so you use your 1.5 because we've used half half inch to turn the two side remember what i add is two inches on fold which is when you open it is going to be four inches so now i used 1.5 making three inches because we've used one inch to turn it so now you're going to place the front and the back together like this <coughs> excuse me the front and the back together like so and you're going to shape your skirt so if you want also you can turn all the side and just easily shape your skirt so that you will not be it will not be confusing for you if you want you can just turn both the side everywhere turn everywhere every, all around of the skirt and then you, you can just easily shape it without doing this insane finishing if it's confusing for you because i don't know a, a better way <laughs> to explain this rather than the way i'm doing now so if you want if you are confused with what i am doing you can just turn everywhere both the waist the side the zipper side the slit side you turn everywhere and then you just shape your skate normal normal just like we do normal skate okay so here <coughs> sorry guys i have kata so yeah i'm taking my waist measurement and on the hip line here that i marked i'll be taking my hip measurement divided by two now okay <coughs> so sorry kata so i'm taking my hip divide by two yes my waist divide by two and i'm going to be sewing this together so make sure you sew up to this side for the waist close up the whole waist because me i did not close it up but you need to close up the whole waist okay i'll still do that later i forgot to show you guys but you just close up the whole waist before you sew okay so here i've torn the this side okay and i'm going to do the same with this other one also okay so and then i'll i'll be sewing my lining <coughs> well it's going to be a little bit difficult so you need to close up your whole waist and then the whole the waist of the front and the waist of the back before you you shape so here you're just pushing this other one inside to shape your lining okay so here one side of the lining and one side of the ankara pieces is closed now we're going to move bring it out from this side remember we left allowance at the down side so that is where i'm going to be bringing it out from and then after that we're going to turn the other side <coughs> sorry guys we are going to turn the other side of the ankara Okay guys here i'm bringing it out the skirt out from the space we left at the down part 
so this is it so i'm trying to achieve instant finishing but like i said earlier if you cannot do this just turn everywhere so that some, nobody will come to the comment and be like your your tutorial is the most confusing that is the kind of comment i used to get <laughs> your tutorial is the most confusing please if you are not advanced you better be able to do this okay so i'll just close this part up now this part here so that is the place we turn the ankara from which is the downside of this um skirt so i'll close that side and then we'll move to the other side of the skirt so here <coughs> so sorry here this is the down part the open side so you're going to turn okay so you match the lining to lining skirt to skirt like i said you finish up the side of the skirt so that you can be able to turn it like this okay lining to lining fabric to fabric and you sew okay so i'm going to sew that and i'm also going to bring it out from the down part which is the space i left also so you push this inside also and then you sew the lining after sewing the lining you bring it out from the down side please if you cannot do this just sew turn everywhere normal to still look fine you must not do insane finishing okay just turn everywhere and then you shape your skirt it will still look great okay but i decided to do it this way and i just thought of sharing it with you guys please so that somebody will not come and be telling me your tutorial is the most confusing on the internet <laughs> please if you cannot do this instant finish just turn your normal normal routine just normal skirt turn everywhere turn the front up and down turn everywhere and then you shape your skirt normal okay it should still look beautiful so but i'm just trying to achieve an insane finish and i'm just sharing it with you guys okay so here i am done <coughs> almost done with the skirt so this side also that we bring it out i'm going to also go and stitch that part up you can use hemming gum to do that too but i prefer stitching it up so that you can easily assess it maybe when you want to um, shape the skirt or something you can just open it up okay you can just open that part up and then you shape your skirt so if you are not good you don't need to do this insane finish because when your clients wear it and it's not it's too big or it's too tight you have to loose open everything and start again so if you're not that if you know your hand is not that very strong don't do this insane finish just turn your skirt normal normal because when your clients come and it's not okay you lose this place and bring out the skirt from the inside <coughs> excuse me from the inside and then you start shaping again but if you shape it at the side and your client come and said it's too big or it's too tight you just losing it and then shape again so that is what i'm saying so now after this you're just going to iron this out and use hemming gum to hold this place together you can also tack with needle and thread but i'll use hemming gum okay just iron this part and then use hemming gum and <coughs> so, sorry guys it's kata so use hemming gum to hold this place together also the zipper side also you do the same to the zipper side you use hemming gum after ironing okay or you tack with needle and thread so this is where i sewed like i told you guys i'm going to sew okay just close up this side okay so that is all for this kit. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any question, you can ask me on the comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial. I love you guys. So this is the hemming gun. Just put it inside and then you iron it to stick together. You put what I use a steam iron. Iron it to stick together. Okay. And this is the final result of the skirt. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.